on this Tuesday afternoon volume of MLB Mets Baseball as New York goes up against the Florida Marlins. Major League Baseball on 2K Sports. We bring you National League action. The Florida Marlins, they're looking for a strong performance in front of their home fans. It'll be, this is the lineup we'll see for the Mets. Play ball. And it'll be Pagan standing in to hit. Florida losing last night. They want to even this three-game series here today, try and give themselves a chance to break the tie in game three against the Mets. Ball. And he watches the outside pitch from Sanchez for a ball. Story in that last ball game, the silence of the bats. Well, the big story was that no-hitter, and there's nothing you can really do about wow. it as a hitter. You just have to try to figure out, okay, he was better than us today. Strike Swing and a miss on the breaking pitch, and it's one and two. Well, the location is not where he wanted it, but because of the break, it got the hitter to be a little tardy on it and swing through it. One-two pitch coming. Ball two. And it's taken outside by Pagan for a ball. Two-two pitch. You're Swing up. and a miss and strike three. Pagan is gone. Now, Gary, that's an outstanding slider. That great late action with two strikes. Not much you can do with that one. Tough one to hit. Now we'll take a quick look at the Marlins and how they take the field on defense. And uh, scouting those fielders, John. Well, anytime Mike Stanton's on a baseball. He swings and nails a liner. That falls in. First hit of the ball game. A good piece of hitting right there with one out. Now let's see what they can do with him now that they've got a man on first. Summer wrapping up. Let's take a look at the Marlins schedule. This New York series ending tomorrow. They'll go up against the Pirates in Pittsburgh. That series bound to be competitive. That's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Then they'll continue the road trip for the next series. Ball one. The Braves hosting that one. A lot of road games on the way. First pitch he let go by, and it uh, was a ball, 1-0. and oh. The career numbers for him, 278 average against Annabelle Sanchez. And it's through. Credit right with a base hit. Well, that's one of those pitches when it leaves the pitcher's hand, the manager tells him, oh, don't swing, don't swing. Oh, great job, good piece of hitting. How he got his bat on that, I have no idea. And Duda will come to the plate. One out with runners at first and second. Line shot into center field. And he's on now. That's going to be another hit for them. And Tejada will score. Well, a big RBI single right there. And I tell you, any time you can put that first run on the board, the momentum is in your favor. One away, and here's Jason Bay. Now, Steve, they needed to take the lead, and they've come through just as we thought they might. Let's see how this plays out. Well, they staked out an early lead in this one, just where they want to be. Well, you know, when you hit like this in the first inning, you start to anticipate maybe a healthy bit of run support coming in this game. There's a swing and a smash. And it gets down. That should bring home right. Off the wall on a hop. And Wright scores. There's the throw. And he scores easily. They could not get him. He'll pull into third. That's a two RBI three bagger. They're just teeing off right now. Four straight hits. And clearly this offense is locked in. Evans at the plate. Steve, we've seen them continue to charge it up at the plate, and it doesn't look like they're going to be stopped. Ball one. Gary, it's still early in this game, but there is a chance this could get out of reach even before we get out of this inning. Got a classic here, maybe one of these stop the bleeding scenarios going on. At the belt, the 1 0. Hard grounded a short. Bonifacio. Throw is not in time, and that will be an infield single. And they get that run in. Hmm, that one took a tricky hop. And a look at next Sunday. We'll see Evan Longoria and the Tampa Bay Rays. They'll be hosting the Boston Red Sox. Things will get going at 1.30 Eastern. So he's running. It's fouled away.
He deals. Foul. It's fouled off. You're Fastball out. got him two down. Very little movement on this pitch at 93 miles per hour, courtesy of KK. And I think uh, last couple of pitches he faced, it, it didn't seem like he was ready for that fastball. Yeah, he got some off-speed pitch, the previous pitch, but you should be able to expect to get the bat on that heater, especially with two strikes. Here's Turner with the bat. Ground ball up the middle. Infante feels it. Yeah. Throws to first side is retired. And a big start for them. You love to have that first inning production, and boy, did they produce. The Mets are in front. R.A. Dickey is going to be pitching. He's going to start for New York. So Steve, conscious of this Florida lineup, what's on his mind? Well, R.A. Dickey's a guy who came to the big leagues with a very good arm. Right but he's reinvented himself as a knuckleball pitcher, and he has figured it out. What's interesting, though, Tim Wakefield throws his knuckleball in the mid-60s. Dickey throws his in the mid-70s, so it's a hard knuckleball, a little right less two. break, but tougher to react to for the hitter. Swing and a miss on the slider. One out. Struck him out on three pitches. That gets it done in a hurry. Well, efficient and in control. When you have those two things working for you, you're going to get it done. And Infante's batting. For his career, 348 against the Mets. Ball. First pitch way out of the zone. Ball one. Well, he starts that two-seam fastball the inside corner, but it just runs in on the hands just off the plate. Ball. Now, Clerk just off the black, and he falls behind 2-0. and Well, you have to throw a strike right here, Gear. I mean, he's taken all the way on those first two pitches. And that swung on and hit. Pagan's going to play it. Play is made. Any of these bats stand out, John? Well, a guy that if he can figure out a way to cut down on his strikeouts can be an absolute monster in the middle of anybody's lineup. Mike Stanton, incredible power, such a gifted athlete. And I tell you, you look at the chiseled body that this guy possesses, he's going to be a guy that's going to be a star for a long, long time. Base is empty with two outs. The pitch from Dickey. Ball. Too far outside, 1-0. We got a chance for some fun today with a good knuckleball pitcher on the mound, Gary. As long as it's dancing, we could see some very frustrated hitters. Swing and a miss. Mike Stanton can't get it. Count is even. And you are absolutely right. For these hitters, it can be very, very frustrating if, in fact, that knuckler is swinging a liner to left. And there it is. That's their first hit of the ball game. And now we'll take a quick look at the Mets. This is how they line up on the field. Highlights, John, from these fielders? Well, keep your eye on the outfield and Angel Pagan. He might start in one position and by the end of the game end up in another because he plays all the position and plays them all well. He has a great ability to get to the fences and rob home runs and possesses a great throwing arm. Here it comes. Lined right at the second baseman. And the sides retired as they head into the dugout. 